Good day folks, today in this quick little video I'm going to show you how to color correct and color grade your GoPro footage in LumaFusion on your iPhone or iPad. We're also going to take a quick look at some LUTs, ones that were specifically designed to be used with GoPro footage. I'll show you how to import them into LumaFusion, how to use them, so let's get started. So before we get started here, I'd like to go back to the basics because I know there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be doing some color grading and this is going to be all new to them. So I just want to kind of make sure everybody has a good understanding of what we're doing and what color correcting and color grading is. So all cameras, including a GoPro, has a set of instructions, basically a color profile on how it uh, records video, uh, takes photos. It's all predefined and that way when you shoot in manual mode, when you're done, you have pictures and videos that look decent. But if you really wanna get top-notch footage, uh, there's something you can do called color grading, color correcting, and applying LUTs. And basically what that is, is instead of using what GoPro thinks uh, the saturation should be set at, you're gonna set all of that yourself. It's really important if you wanna really do proper color grading to shoot in a flat, color profile. Now to set a flat color profile on your GoPro, it's actually very simple to do. What we're going to do is swipe from the right hand side and we're going to enable ProTune. Now ProTune allows you to set all kinds of settings, but what we're interested here is the color profile for this uh, tutorial. So if you want to try your own color correcting, give this a try. So we're going to go to ProTune here and under color we're going to click on it. Now here it gives us two options. You can see we have flat and uh, we have GoPro color and flat. So we're gonna select flat. Now the other thing I like to do when doing my own color correcting and color grading is set the sharpness to low. And that allows us to set our own sharpness while we're color correcting it. And uh, that's kind of nice because sometimes the GoPro footage can be over sharpened. Uh, it can be too sharp that it looks a little unnatural. So that's basically it. So now when you record with your GoPro, the colors are gonna be really desaturated uh, the contrast everything is going to be really low it's going to look very boring right off the camera I'll just throw a quick sample up on here on the screen here's some footage shot in GoPro color looks decent and now here's some footage shot same kind of scene but it's shot in GoPro flat and you can see it's very desaturated looks very boring it's not very sharp now here's a side-by-side -side comparison and you can really see the difference between the two color profiles so now we're gonna fire up our iPad Pro we're gonna launch LumaFusion import our content and we're gonna start color correcting okay folks we're all set up here I've got LumaFusion launched and we're ready to go now before we get going we're going to import some LUTs I have purchased some LUTs from Polar Pro uh, they have the Electra series of LUTs and they make them for all different camera models they make them for the GoPro different drones and they're all different depending on the camera now there are a ton of free LUTs you can download if you just go to Google and search in GoPro LUTs um, there's some really good ones out there there's some really bad ones as well so just do some research but like I said I'm gonna be using the ones by Polar Pro and if you do like them I'll include the link down in the description so you can go and purchase them they're $29 um, I'm not sure how many you get with the package I think you get about 15, but they're really good and I use them quite a bit. I already had them installed on LumaFusion, but I deleted them so I could show you how to do it. Okay, so we have our LumaFusion launched and we are going to drag some footage down and start uh, doing some color correcting. So you've seen in the sample how when you shoot in a flat color profile, it's very desaturated and uh, looks very plain. So what we're going to do is add some color add some sharpness, some contrast, we're gonna play around. Now, I am not a master editor by any means. You know, I kinda of know what I like, and uh, you know, you'll develop your own style, and uh, you know, comes with time and practice. So these two clips here are the same. One was shot in GoPro Color, one was shot in GoPro Flat. So we want the flat one here. So we're gonna bring it down. You can see it is super desaturated. There's not much to it at all. The uh, grasses aren't very green, the sky's not very blue. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to double tap on the clip and then we're going to click this icon right here and that's going to bring us into where we can set different, uh, different things. Now without using LUTs or anything, if you just want to do your own basic uh, adjustments, you can use this one here. They have uh, these pre-made filters. Um, I'm not a big fan of filters personally, uh, but you know, you can just apply them, you know, like that kind of adds kind of a cool effect. What I like to do is the original. So if you click on it, you can see right away we've added this filter and uh, it didn't make any changes because what it does, it gives us all kinds of stuff down here, all kinds of sliders that we can use to adjust different things. 
Now here is where we can start adjusting the contrast and um, brightness. And it's just a matter of playing around until you find something you like. If you want a little bit brighter, we can increase the saturation. We can increase the vibrance. You don't want to go too far with the vibrance and saturation because it can start to look very unnatural. You can play around with the low lights and highlights. And then play around with your blues, give them a different tone, maybe a bit more contrast there. So now, yeah, that looks not too bad. So you can see we can toggle on and off what we just did there. And yeah, that actually looks pretty good. So, you know, it's actually pretty easy to do, you know, and just play around. Now, at this point, we might want to add some sharpness because if you recall, we had it set at low. If you go to this little teardrop icon at the top here, there's all kinds of different effects we can add here. We can uh, blur it. We can do different things. But what we want to do is sharpen it. So we can put the sharpness times one. You know, that'll sharpen it a little bit. And here we can fine tune it. If that's a little too much, we can turn it down. We can turn it up a little bit. Just until we're happy with what it's at. And that looks pretty good. So there, we can um, actually just go out of that. And now we have a nice little clip. So now I'm going to show you how to add some LUTs. So we're going to again go back into our color editor, click down there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these that I just added because I tend to use the original and uh, do some fine tuning, but I do that after I've applied a LUT um, just to kind of fine tune it. So we're back now to our flat color profile and we're going to go over here to LUTs. And LumaFusion comes default with some built-in LUTs, like there's some sepia if you want to turn it to sepia. Uh, different things like that. They have color pop and they're not bad. Now ones that I actually really like and I do use quite a bit because when filming with an iPhone um, and you're using Filmic Pro uh, they have you can film in different color profiles in Filmic Pro. They have Filmic D flat and Filmic D log. Um, but you can apply these LUTs if you haven't used Filmic Pro. So for example, let's add this D flat. And as you can see, it does a nice little job at colorizing it. Now down here at the bottom, you can blend as well. So basically it only applies a percentage of the effect right down to nothing. And sometimes that comes in handy. If say, uh, say you filmed on your GoPro in GoPro color, you didn't shoot in a flat profile, but you still want to make the colors a little bit nicer. You want them to pop a bit more. You could apply that LUT, but then just tone it down a little bit so it's not too oversaturated. But like I said, Polar Pro has a nice collection of LUTs designed specifically for the GoPro when shooting in a flat color profile. So I'm going to show you here how to import them. Basically what you have to do first is upload them to a cloud service like your iCloud. So I've already gone ahead and done that. I've uploaded the GoPro LUTs to my iCloud. So now we're just going to import them. And what we do is we're going to click this little button here. And it's going to ask us where we want to import our LUTs from. And I'm going to select iCloud Drive because that's where I uploaded them to. But if you've done them to Dropbox or Google Drive, you would select the appropriate uh, cloud service. So I'm going to select iCloud Drive. So I've got a little folder I made and I called it LUTs. So we'll go into that. And as you can see, there's the GoPro Polar Pro LUT. And I also have some LUTs for my Mavic Air, but uh, I'm going to leave them out for now. So we're going to select that. So to select them, we're going to go into the GoPro folder and here are all the LUTs. So we're going to hit select and you can just select individual ones if you want. You can just put a check mark in them. If you want them all in, we'll just hit select all and then we will hit open. And as you can see, it's downloading the media and there we go. So you can see here the Filmic D log and the D flat that were in there. So everything above here from Purity all the way up to classic are the Polar Pro LUTs that we've imported. So from there, we can just click on and see which ones we like. So I kind of like the uh, Electra Cool. So we can uh, toggle that on and off to see the difference. And like I said, we can blend it if we want 
if we think it's a little too much we can blend it so that gave us a good starting point we've got our electrolyte there and uh, then what i'd like to do is go back to the main color palette thing here this little icon and add the original tool the original filter because here we can now fine tune it a bit say we want a little more brightness maybe a little more contrast we want the vibrance up maybe a little bit more We can adjust the blues just like that so now we have the two filters and we can toggle them off one at a time and uh, see what they look like so there you go so now we have color graded our footage and again we can go in and set the sharpness if we want it a little bit sharper now one thing I do want to show you here and it's kind of important along the top here you see you have these dots and now you can see that I've got three dots illuminated this is basically a gauge on how many effects you can add in LumaFusion before it starts to overwhelm you know your processing power so with what I've done so far you can see I've used up three dots and if I was to go in and add that sharpening let's sharpen it by one time you can see it's added some more dots now I've never personally used up that many dots um, you know because there's only so much you're going to be doing to it right so yeah that's just important to keep in mind uh, you don't want to get those dots up near the red there because that will uh, cause some problems so now we can go back to our main editing page and we've got our nicely color graded footage now here's another important step if you've got multiple clips which many of us do if you're editing a nice little video you might have little 10 second clips that you're going to be all putting together you don't want to have to go in and do that to each individual clip uh, for two reasons first of all it's very time consuming but also you want uniformity you know if especially if they're uh, you're just you're on the beach here and uh, you're just getting different angles different clips you know you want everything to kind of have the same look and feel so let's drag another clip down uh, where is it here I got this little clip here I took again it was shot in a flat color profile so we're going to drag it down to the timeline and you can see there's quite a difference you know when you go to the two different clips but instead of going through each individual clip adding the LUTs doing the adjustments uh, all we have to do is select the clip that we've edited and that we're happy with we're going to go to our toolbox here we're going to click on clip and we're going to copy so that's just copied all attributes from this clip everything that we've edited and added to it it's copied it so now when we click on the new clip again we'll go down to clip and we have the option now to paste now we can deselect certain attributes like for example if we've done some adjustments to the audio on this clip but we don't want that carried over to this clip we would take the highlight off of it but I'll just leave everything selected for now so now all we're gonna do is hit paste and boom you can see that it has now copied the same attributes over and from there we could go in and edit it if we bring the color corrector up you can see all those things that we added are on that clip now because we've copied and pasted them over so that's a really handy shortcut because like I said if you have 10 clips 20 clips 100 clips you know you don't want to have to go in and color correct color adjust each individual clip well folks that's basically it that's how you do some color correcting color grading of your GoPro footage in LumaFusion it's very simple and uh, once you get the hang of it uh, you'll find it quite fun and uh, you can get really creative and do some interesting things anyways folks thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video thanks a lot we'll see you in the next one